The idea for the comic actually came when I was at the local comic store. There's a comic store around the corner that um, specializes mainly in, in independent comics. Kind of arrogantly, I thought, hey, I could do this. And I realized that I, I had a story that I wanted to tell. The first 12 or 16 frames are going to be in the CD. I kind of consider this record to be an extension of things that we we're doing on the last record and same with the art. So a lot of the art, a lot of the concepts that were started on the last record, for instance the boy on the cover, those all tie into the story and they're all part of the universe that, that, that this thing is set into. I knew that I had the ship design from the last album cover and I wanted to incorporate that into a story somehow and I said let's base a story around the ship. And the first three scenes for the comic came pretty much immediately. From those three images, I came up with the story for the entire comic book. Obviously, more characters started to come in. This is the cover that I'm working on. So here we've got all the characters. Adsel, the boy, who's the same boy as the last album cover. This is the governess. The governess and Adsel. I came up with the Festival Time ship when we were on tour. The ship is kind of like the, the, the launch pad of the story of all the, all the different characters that, that are on it. They all have kind of aspects of eccentricity about them. That's what being on a bus is like, you know. No one is sane, everyone is crazy in their own way. And then you meet people on other buses and it's kind of like, it's almost like being on these different airships and you're floating around in this weird, kind of surreal world that is, um, it's only half real because you know that once you're off tour, it's, it's as if that didn't happen. It's almost as if that was a dream of some sort. A lot of my stories had this kind of like space ace technology set in a very Victorian setting. Um, I've always been interested in 19th century art, so I think that just kind of came naturally. And I always thought that hoop skirts were sexier than bikinis. I don't know why. Someone saw my ship and said, oh, it looks really steampunk. And so I started reading more about the, the aesthetic of steampunk. It was more like, oh, wow, I've, I've been doing this all along, and now somebody put a name to it. I wouldn't have called it steampunk anyway, because I, I wouldn't have liked to have added the punk thing to it. There's nothing punk about this, you know? But definitely, um, in fact, I don't even know that there's steam involved, because I don't think... <laughs> Strangely enough, it's leaked into our music because when I, some of the stuff that's on the new record sounds mechanical. If this was turned into a film, that would be like the soundtrack music that I would hear for it. I guess you'd have to hear that part of the record <laughs> for that to make any sense. 